teachers, the students. Hello, friends. <coughs> yeah, first of all, I want to congratulate you for keeping this up. This was one way expected. You know, you are all educated. Many of you are actually research scholars and are expected to understand the moves of uh, the powers <coughs> that be, right? So this man was to come here. I expected it. <coughs> you see, what happens is that uh, you see, there is a pattern, there is a pattern created when <coughs> Rohit Vemula uh, happened in this uh, campus. Thereafter, that entire thing actually backfired, right? Your resistance and everything actually boomeranged. So they created JNU because this was this turned up as an issue of, an unexpectedly an issue of Dalit versus non-Dalit kind of thing. And that is a very delicate area for BJP because all said and done they rely upon Dalit votes. Their all apple card, apple card could be toppled only by Dalit, mind it. But unfortunately the state of Dalit politics is such that all Dalit Rams are in their camp. Okay? Playing Hanuman. <coughs> so they some way try to turn it differently that okay there is something radical vices of Dalit isolate them because once you ask them that you are something like radical or Marxist or Maoadi or some such kind of label even the Dalit masses the culture political culture of Dalits have been such that they also would be alienated they would not think that you are their own so that that strategy was there but in between this happened and entire thing actually toppled up. Now, the question is how to sort of recover ground. So they created JNU. <coughs> okay? So JNU, that was the kind of issue that they raised, that patriotism or nationalism or anti-India slogans and all kinds of things. Now, any sensible fellow <laughs> would understand that those kinds of slogans that were actually shouted in JNU campus were not given by our fellows. Okay? All those chaps, actually, I know them personally. All DSU, all ISA, all everybody, individually, I know in the new campus. Okay? As I know many of you out here. <coughs> so, actually speaking, I argued in my column and elsewhere, I had written probably a dozen articles on these the now student episodes. And I had argued that no Marxist worth is salt will actually give that kind of slogan. It doesn't fit in ideology. And if they had to give those slogans, they would not be masked. So those were the fellows actually where the hirelings of ABP were brought to JNU just to create that kind of alibi for, <coughs> for, uh, crack, uh, for the police to crack down. This was a very simple thing. So so is the case out here in this recent episode, <coughs> whether anybody indulged out of emotion or excitement, etc. in the vandalism. But they, this was planned, this was to be created, then only this man could be saved. So this, uh, this was actually by per planning. Don't believe that you have done all that. So if you had not done, or even, even if you had not done, this was done by somebody. This was to be done by somebody. So it is not, uh, it is not that <coughs> we have to sort of, so far as, as Professor Hargopal said, that is true. You ought to be strategic, okay? We have not been strategic, actually we have lost so many people, so many human lives and so much, so much of an energy really uh, and uh, lost many battles. So you have to be because you have to be very careful as to what the adversaries move are likely to be and uh, conduct accordingly. Now things are very bad. We habitually kind of uh, invoke, you know, fascism, Nazism and all kind of things. It's a lazy scholarship that Normally, uh, we uh, uh, kind of uh, <coughs> invoke something like that happened in past. You have to understand that Hitler and Mussolini did not inherit this kind of powerful state. 
okay it is much worse than nazism and it is uh, it uh, uh, <laughs> fascism so don't be under illusions you know because some such kind of things when are uh, get obstructed uh, again in a way they actually create something like a this uh, deformed kind of picture of the reality so don't let it happen hitler and mussolini did not have this kind of technology of surveillance to each <coughs> mark, mark each of you so mind it that it is the kind of thing that we are experienced today are much worse than fascism and hitler hitlerism <coughs> okay so is the case with something like invoking you are i think having an ankle of your speech you don't have to actually rely upon the hindu mythology they created ekalavya and shown before you that when dona chari asked for a thumb ekalavya would submit and give it a thumb this you you have to be ekalavya now will ask, ask for a thumb of the dona charias <laughs> don't 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 be fooled by such kind of thing you have to be ready for this kind of new language new idiom and new lingo i don't care for uh, other otherwise such kind of things so you have to be <coughs> you have to understand what is happening around you you have to be critical about it okay you know you are critical thinking and look at the world because it's a big onus that you are carrying for rest of the masses they have been fooled they have been actually ruined the powerful dalit movement has been absolutely decimated by the broker that they created who created again those people created but some something happened and they 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 actually could do that so don't let it happen here onward it's a it's a, it's a uh will will history will never pardon us if we actually remain sort of silent so many things have happened this people have created you know the, almost the education is decimated there is absolutely nothing that remain in villages okay you many of you come for uh, issue like places from villages and you know that that and as professor hargopal said you are probably lucky ones i do not find villages the village after villages there is nothing nothing nobody can actually reach the higher education of any uh, value okay so where our people and dalits are mostly rural people still our urbanization ratio is half of the general population so i am not saying when i utter actually dalit is not a partisan way or something like a casteist way i am referring to we'll have to understand that unless we actually carry on <coughs> uh, uh, carry along with us the larger masses that's why when i came last time when the rohit had uh, uh, just uh, uh, committed suicide and i come here and i advise some people actually that this is the opportune time to create something like a larger kind of trend so that i be abvp gets completely isolated if it had be seeded out in hcu elsewhere it could have happened okay now this with this protest actually i could <coughs> personally could uh, sort of uh, engineer so many things today there was a demonstration in front of the india house in london <coughs> and there were there were so many are in offing like in uh, um, uh, embassies of india etc and abroad europe and america that is going to be this kind of protest and this kind of letter given to the government of india so all these things can be possible but if you have been strategic so this kind of thing could have been accomplished right here but <coughs> but we are in habit of missing the buses also nevertheless late but not uh, sort of uh, never we should attempt that all the people who are sympathetic with us actually group them together and isolate these kinds of goons <coughs> there is a strategy that you can understand what the what these people have been actually planning to do okay they they are in hurry unko masti hai power ki masti aa gayi hai wo to sab jag jahir hai okay and they want to actually the murderers in of gujarat are at the hell okay. and they want to show up. so next citadel is the universities because if at all any uh, resistance is possible it is from you people it is from the campuses and that's why they actually decided consciously to sort of promote abvp and suppress the dissent suppress the opposition to abvp at a better mind and this is not going to end here as far as this campus is concerned apara <coughs> is the target they, he should be the target that fellow should be removed and be arrested there is no actually 
I have not seen an incompetent person of that kind. I have not seen him, but there, there is no need of seeing, seeing him. I can judge. <laughs> that, 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 there couldn't be any incompetence greater than that. Okay? <clears throat> so the way he handled the things, etc. I have headed an uh, organization. I have, I know all those kinds of things. So the, these idiots are not, nothing before me. <clears throat> okay? So that is, that is your target. That could be target, uh, first target anyway, that you have to struggle. But don't expect that he would easily go again. So, but your, your uh, struggle is actually transcend this campus. Mind it. People are looking at you and you have to keep that alive. Because this is going to be a sort of certain example for many, many people. You, I do not know whether you are aware that there was a three demonstrations that happened in support of you in Calcutta. Okay, Jadavpur University demonstrated, Presidency College demonstrated, and there was a uni unified student uh, uh, body at Calcutta, which again demonstrated separately. In IIT, <laughs> we could also have demonstrated that their exa exams are going on. <laughs> Ah, IIT is the first time in the history in the wake of Rohit's uh, suicide, actually there was a demonstration on road. First time in the history of 60 years in IIT Kharagpur. And this time again they had to come on road and they, we had a candle uh, march but it was not uh, 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 sizable. But they are going to have it just after the exams, <laughs> I assure you. <coughs> so, you have to understand the strategies of power that they will have to, they will not actually strike, <coughs> strike retreat because these things are boomerang. Even JNU is going to be badly boomerang. But JNU, as uh, Hargopal rightly said, there's an atmosphere and all the teachers, etc., and almost the campus, excepting almost uh, ABVP is isolated. They're all, uh, there was already a kind of trend existing <coughs> when uh, such kind of things existed. And even the JNU SU actually represent that kind of unity. So there is not much of a problem out here. But here comes the caste issue, okay? And <clears throat> we have to be proactive in certain matters. So caste could be easily isolated, okay? Uh, the way that uh, actually they would bounce upon you, taking a small alibi, etc. This did not happen elsewhere. Shiv Sena and all that thing, that this kind of vandalism, etc. Even if you had committed here by some of us, our students, but this is not an alibi for actually cracking down so brutally on uh, uh, students and faculty. There is nothing like that. So there is a power equation, you know. It's okay that <coughs> police was called. It, was, it is not okay that way, but incompetent uh, uh, characters will do that kind of thing. But the police takes a spiritedly, uh, I mean, uh, behaves spiritedly and actually crack down upon students and faculty, etc., is not uh, an ordinary act. So there, there is something out there. There is a kind of nexus between the state and this man or to your chief minister in Telangana. So you have to understand that the political kind of bargains, etc., that happen. And all kinds of issue, issuance of statements, etc., don't go, go by that. This country has come to the level and there is a history of uh, last uh, at least a uh, couple of decades that those kind of statements do not mean anything. So unless there is a struggle backing it, these people would not behave. So you have to ca carry on with uh, your kind of uh, struggle and defeat, defeat not the administration out here, but defeat your struggle actually against the state, against the state none other than the Modi state. <laughs> because it's a broader plan, broader plan, and you are just a, a, a part of it. This entire episode is actually happening as a part of that bigger plan. There's a bigger plan in place that they, <coughs> and I tell you, they actually mark it out until UP and Punjab elections take place next year. This would carry. This would be carried on by them. They will show. It, it was, <coughs> they could have easily brought this man after your exams were over. But they wanted to show to you that what they are capable of. And <coughs> wanted to, not only wanted to show, but they wanted to show also in a hard way the, the, way, the way they enacted things. So don't, don't uh, uh, take it that it is something like innocent act or it just happened just like that. It is, it is a planned thing. Whatever that happened here, that was a very, very planned and intricate plan uh, uh, episode. <clears throat> so you 
then there are going to be many more kinds of things. Wherever there is, a, uh, there is going to be dissent, there are already campuses, half a dozen or about a dozen campuses, wherein they have actually played out this kind of things and tried to teach a lesson to dissenters. So this is going to go on. And uh, <coughs> in the wake of election, the election means a lot to them now. Uh, these are crucial kinds of things for <coughs> them to survive. What is, ha going to, what is happening is, it's an age-old strategy. There is nothing to repeat that kind of thing. They want to polarize. Polarize what? Polarize into their imaginary Hindu, as if they have not done it before. <coughs> so again, with this kind of sharp polarization among Hindus, the Hindus become actually a, a, a block. And other fellows would be, as Gurdwar said, that, uh, you know, like, uh, British are not your enemy. That time he said, the British are not enemy. Don't waste your, uh, waste your energy over this thing. Muslims and communists are real enemies. And Mark Eta Mudeb, and Goldworker did not say Dalits and Adivasis. But Dalits and Adivasis, the whole communalism, if you actually minutely look at, <coughs> actually, this communalism that at the root are about all the kinds of problems. This is again our sort of uh, scholarly laziness that we actually keep on repeating the same kinds of songs over and over again. Actually, there are not a multiple enemy. This is caste is the, deep, the foremost and the root enemy or root problem of this land. And everywhere this pervades. Communalism is sort of a byproduct of that. There is nothing. Don't don't isolate that the communalism. When the Muslims are targeted, it's not our problem. Actually, at the root of it, I, I, I don't have to, I think, elaborate here, I, that kind of time is not there, but you have to I just tell you and you can study yourself. You are capable of doing that, but actually many of many of people like get flown, you know, what actually goes on. So at the root of it, there is always a caste problem. There is no problem in India and you can easily trace a caste being the problem <coughs> behind everything. So. Uh, what I was saying is that they are trying to polarize people <coughs> and that is an age-old strategy. It comes from the birth of the RSS itself. Uh, Goldworker verbalized it, but there, without even verbalizing, the, their entire kind of uh, razo that uh, was that, that they wanted to sort of bank upon the Hindu majority out here. They imagined that India has a Hindu majority. What kind of Hindu majority? There is nothing like Hindu. Hindus are caste. Okay, and those idiots do not understand that actually <coughs> if they isolate all these people and add to that all Dalits, all and all uh, uh, Adivasis, even numerically they become a majority. And we'll have to show, we'll have to call out that kind of thing. I keep on actually problematizing the kind of constitution I do not hold it as sacrosanct, and it is not Ambedkar's constitution, do not be under illusion. I do not hold, I, I would warn that this kind of uh, conspiracy or intrigue that played out while making the constitution also need to be understood. And this first past the past <laughs> post-election kind of system which actually gives them a perennial rule, that needs to be demolished. But until that last, that kind of struggle we'll have to articulate in course of time, but until that last, we'll have to create that kind of majority that gave, give them the, in their own coins that we are the majority. This country as such is a country of minorities. There is nothing like majority. Every caste is a nation, as Ambedkar said, from somewhere. So you have to remember that. So in even whenever they play out strategy, we'll have to actually have a counter strategy and uh, work it out. And if we systematically march, these are all possible. I'm telling you, I'm telling you not as a theoretician or some such kind of thing. We worked it out. We <laughs> we proved it several times, etc. But actually, problem is that uh, <coughs> there is so much of a <coughs> odd that we have to one has to fight out. So that is the only problem. Otherwise, there is there are these are all possible things. I will not uh, dwell in something impossible. We are the people, you know. By profession, I am engineer. By again, to another profession, I am manager. And we only did things. We theorized later on. So that, so we believe in whatever actually accomplishable. So I'm not uh, tell, uh, telling you something like that. So only my hope is that you will certainly carry on the struggle. I do not have a, uh, any doubt about. So 
in these difficult times you have survived you will carry out carry on the struggle until this man goes okay so <clears throat> and we will expand this struggle beyond this campus this campus is not a boundary this campus is not a boundary tell me that uh, the uh, struggle will expand the uh, struggle will transcend far beyond the borders of the country also so uh, count upon count upon that kind of count upon that kind of uh, support you are not uh, alone so that is there but fundamentally you have to muster courage to stand firm stand steady okay <clears throat> i don't have to say uh, many more things etc you are all i salute you for standing so far and uh, do believe sincerely do believe that uh, you will carry carry on the <clears throat> claim that you lit here uh, there is no doubt about it so just be some we are around and you know that we are around that's it <laughs> thank you bye